So welcome to this uh, panel discussion on leadership in Wikimedia. Um, today we want to introduce you to the work that the Leadership Development Working Group, um, that will be the panel today, um, is going to do and already did. And the plan for this uh, little session is to first um, spend 10 minutes giving you a bit of an overview of what this group is and then dedicate the rest of the session uh, to a Q&A where you can ask any question that comes to your mind. And for that, we'd, uh, we'd kindly ask you to, to put those questions in the chat. So what are we? The um, initial impulse for the foundation of this group came from the Invest in Skills and Leadership recommendation of the Wikimedia Movement Strategy 2030. And um, we've been founded since in June, as, as I'll show you later. Uh, we are a global and community driven working group and as such we are quite diverse, so uh, we represent uh, all eight major geographic locations are uh, quite uh, diverse in terms of language, gender and experience in the movement, both in sheer years of experience and both uh, and also um in the roles that we've taken in uh, inside the movement why do we exist what's our purpose we try to unpack the meaning of leadership for um for our movement and um so in relationship to the communities and the experiences that we have because it's quite a, um, a complex uh topic and with a, with a strong cultural variable uh, in keeping with that, we have to understand our communities first, otherwise we, we can't really develop meaningful um, plans for developing leadership. And then we want to find a path for leadership development that we can follow. So this is just what derives from um, this um, invest in, in skills and leadership recommendation from the 2030 plan. This is what this group is for. Why leadership? Why is this important? Why did they even come up with this recommendation in the first place? Um, the idea behind this is that um, investment in people's leadership has shown to successfully um, boost project efficiency and make movements more sustainable. This is what we, what we hope we can do with leadership. Uh, specifically, uh, we believe that many domains could benefit from this, like uh, just the on weekly participation, resolution of conflict, organizational development, project management, partnership development, uh, and many more. So there are a lot of perspectives and, um, and applications uh, for this once it's established. So I already gave you the purpose of the group. Um, the, the group has been set up for, would you... Gilbert, would you please mute yourself? Thanks. Um, we have a tenure of one year. So we were founded in June this year. So in one year from now, we've got three goals. The first one is to draft a definition of leadership because we need a foundation on, on which to work. Um, based on that, we want to develop a plan for, for implementing leadership in the movement. And for the rest of the time, I want to guide the implementation of, of set plan, whatever that, um, that will mean. This is a bit of the timeline that we had. So as I said before, we, we started our work in, in June this week, uh, this year. And uh, first we started setting up um, the process in which we, we would work. And in July, we, we started with the the actual work on the goals because we figured out that the definition was was crucial to all the other goals we started with that and we're almost finished now so we did a lot of storytelling building consensus and understanding um the the different contexts in which leadership develops because as i said um, leadership is quite complex and there's a strong cultural variable and we use the, the diversity in our group um, to, to make the, um, the most inclusive definition possible. 
Um, we did that by having weekly discussions. So we met every other, every week and um, we also did asynchronous work as, as you might expect. So now it's August, we've, we've almost finished um, making this um, definition. We are um, in the final steps of finalizing it and um, we'll share it sh shortly um, with you so that you can review it. Um, how can you stay involved and updated? So we have a MetaWiki report that will um, give updates on our work every other month. We also set up um, a thread in MS Forum. I think yesterday we, we started our first post to open that. I'm not sure if that's online yet, but this will, uh, this will come if it's not there yet. Um, and we need our, your feedback. This is crucial to our work. We will uh, publish our definition on Meta, and um, you can then post your um, your review there. Um, we'll also um, take your feedback by other channels like the talk page, as I said, and um, social media. We'll have one-to-one -one conversations if there is a more detailed um, discussion that you want to have. Uh, and we'll also have community calls with, with more participants, sort of like what we're having right now. And if you want to have a steady inflow of information, you can sign up on Meta uh, or send an email to leadership, uh, leadership working group at wikimedia.org. And now uh, we can use the remainder of the session to answer your questions, whatever they may be. And for that, I'd like to give the imaginary microphone to my colleague, Mitesh, and end my overview. Uh, thanks, Jan. Thank you so much um, for handing over the call to me. Hello, everyone. First of all, I would like to introduce myself. Quickly, my name is Nitesh and I belong to Punjab, India. I have been a part of Wikimedia movement for eight years and I am a member of the Punjabi Wikimedians user group. For, um, for the last three years, I'm also working with Center for Internet and Society's Access to Knowledge Program and I am also one of the leadership development working group members. So, um, now, quickly, I would like to thank the Wikimania organizing and program team uh, who gave us uh, this opportunity to introduce um, to introduce our vision in front of the dedicated participants. I welcome all the panelists from the leadership working group and the audience uh, to contribute to the session. Thank you for joining us and who are not able to join us, those can uh, watch the recording up afterwards. Uh, now we just switch to the uh, session to save our time. Thanks again, Jan, for the brief presentation. It was uh, really amazing. Here we are going to start question answers. So I will ask a few questions to all uh, panelists. And if any, uh, anybody feel com uh, feels comfortable adding something to the questions or answers, please feel free to add. Also, uh, uh, I request to the audience, please write your uh, questions in the chat box so we can take those questions directly and uh, finish the session on time. And I, it would, uh, it would be a, uh, also great if you could also add your uh, username, user, uh, user group or region details along with your questions. So I think let's begin with the questions. So, uh, welcome again. Uh, I first of all, um, I um, I request to all panelists um, before answering the question, please introduce yourself briefly, and then uh, let us know uh, why did you personally choose the uh, join this group? Uh, this group means leadership development working group. So if uh, I would ask, start uh, from Nada. Nada, can you, um, are you comfortable to answer, go first? Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Nadal Farra. I'm a doctor from Palestine. I'm uh, a member of the uh, Wikimedia Levant User Group and WikiWorld Heritage. I uh, contribute to medicine and uh, literature and art on uh, Wikipedia, Wikidata, and Wikicommons. Uh, I started my Wikimedia journey back in 2018, and uh, I started it this year as an editor, as, an, uh, as a, a workshop uh, organizer, and now I am uh, on the leadership development working group, and uh, I uh, hope uh, this uh, group uh, provides and uh, the purpose that uh, it was made for. Thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you, Nada. Thank you so much. Uh, goodness, would you like to go next? All right. Um, thank you, Nitish, and thank you, everyone, for joining us. I, I am Goodness Kinesha from Nigeria. I am a librarian and a member of the Evil Comedian User Group. I'm also a member of the Ombud Commission and a member um, of the Leadership Development uh, Working Group. Um, one of the reasons I joined this group is to contribute as a leader, participate, and gain more experience. And secondly, to be a voice that represents my community. Thank you. Thank you, goodness. Um, Francis, uh, can you go ahead? Uh, sure, I can. Uh, hey. Hi everyone, my name is Francesc, I come from the land of Valencia. And well, my movement, my involvement in this group, uh, I believe it's a natural consequence of my long time involvement in the Wikimedia movement for more than 40 years now. And as uh, some of you probably know, I was quite involved in the strategy process in the second iteration of the strategy process back in 2019 and 20. And as we all know, there's a recommendation of the recommendation set, which I believe it was a great uh, outcome of our work back then that recommended us to uh, develop leadership in our movement. I believe that the leadership is something that appeals to many things, such as capacity building, leadership itself, to resilience, to understanding ourselves as a movement, to, to understanding ourselves better. And this is something that we will develop uh, in our session today, but I believe that there are many, many things to win for, uh, for us by understanding how leadership is developed in our movement, that we all know that we are a, a movement of our own and you know, it's, uh, we are something very specific in the world. So definitions made by others don't fit for us. So that's basically why I joined the, the team. Thanks, Francisc. Uh, Jan, uh, you already introduced yourself, but if you can also uh, let us know why you joined this group, that would be great. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, so first, again, I'm Jan. I'm from Germany. Um, right now, I'm I'm joining you from lovely Tallinn, actually, because I moved to Estonia. In Wikimedia, so um, in Wikimedia, so I've I think I've joined two years ago, but I haven't been this active um, over the last year. But I'm a biochemistry student, so I'm mostly involved in science. And why am I in this leadership development? when I read about um, this recommendation for leadership development, it was only natural for me to, to join because I think leadership and soft skill development uh, is something that the movement can, can really benefit from. And I think I did have to bring something to the table there. Thanks, Jan. Um, and your internet is also not stable. You can fix it, please. Uh, okay, uh, Ray, you are the last one. Could you go ahead? Sure. Hello, I am Ray on Wikimedia Projects. Go by his name, Vermont. 
Uh, I am a steward. I'm an admin and check user on MetaWiki and Simple English Wikipedia. I'm also a UCOC drafter and now on the Leadership Development Working Group. I personally chose to join for a handful of reasons. The majority of my work so far in the movement has been exclusively in enforcement processes. I have very minimal experience outside of uh, enforcement processes and stuff like that and working on something that is much more, uh, I guess, affiliate focused and sort of like grants focused and community development focused and the more small projects is something that is quite fun an area that I hope to help out. Thanks, Ray. Thank you, everyone, for uh, for your introduction and answering the question. So, uh, uh, okay. So, uh, Jan um, talked about uh, fifteen volunteers in his presentation. So, I would like to ask, um, how were members of this group selected? Um, Francis, if you are you comfortable to take this question? Sure, I am. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, uh, when it comes to the membership of the people, I was trying to reply in the in the chat one thing, but of course we have to jump. Um, uh, well, uh, if I'm honest, I must say that I, my involvement in that is that I made a proposal and I was selected. No? So I, I don't know um, the details, let's say. But basically, it was an open application process. Uh, I believe it was announced uh, everywhere, we could say. And it was reviewed anonymously. And indeed, in Meta, I checked the names of the people who, who reviewed it. It was a selection of people, some coming from Wikimedia Foundation, some coming from the communities, etc. And as I said before, the only thing that I know is, OK, uh, so uh, it seems that uh, uh, my application, what I wrote there, uh, was uh, consistent enough to convince the people. So I got selected. And when it comes to the actual composition of the group, we have 15 members, although we must say that first soon we will be one, one member more. And uh, that's a little bit uh, the issue. We, we have all the, the, the regions in our movement represented. Uh, the original objective of the committee, if I remind properly, it was at, at least 12 people and at least one from each of the regions. We have all the regions covered and we have more members than 12 and i believe that's something good and that's a little bit uh, the situation of the um, of the membership in, in in our committee thank you thank you francisc uh now uh, i will go back to goodness uh, goodness, I want to ask, uh, what has the question done so far in two months, like Jan already talked about uh, uh, goals and plans uh, uh, in his slides. So um, how will you answer um, about this, uh, uh, what group has done in two months? Okay, thank you, Natish, for that question, um, like um, Jan. Um, rightly said, we have um, three goals. One of the goals is to draft a shared definition of leadership, to create a leadership development plan, and to guide the implementation of leadership. And um, we intentionally spend time to build a common purpose and, and, and goal, and also to find alignment with each other. The group stated the ground rules to interact, communicate, and be familiar with members and through various platforms for communication and to complete tasks. The Leadership de um, Development Working Group is close to finishing the first goal, which is to, um, which is a shared definition of leadership. And this definition is not ready now because we're still working on it. And, um, and when it's ready, we'll reach out to all of you to give, you, to give us feedback and suggestions to upgrade our definition and make it um, global. Thank you. Thanks, goodness. Uh, and I will, I will request all the uh, panelists, if um, anyone has something to add, uh, please raise your hand and you can add uh, in that question. So um, I'm going ahead. So 
hopefully. Okay. So, okay. So, uh, Nada, uh, what has the working group learned so far about working together and, and about leadership development? Uh, well, uh, so we have learned a lot, uh, actually, as uh, the highlight of this uh, group, of this working group is diversity. Diversity is a great way to enhance efficacy and effectiveness uh, that allows us to examine our goals at uh, many diverse levels and brings different skills to the table. Uh, we also learned that every opinion is valuable and a great milestone. So we uh, learned the importance of uh, constant decision making. As I mentioned earlier, it's uh, diversity. Uh, so we get uh, to hear uh, different stories outside our community and see different cultures. Uh, we also learned about new platforms and tools to enhance teamwork and productivity like Miro and uh, uh, Asana. I personally didn't know those uh, apps before and uh, it was a great chance to deal with them in uh, uh, action. Uh, we also learned about resilience and understanding of uh, members' needs. With regards to the leadership development, we learned that uh, good leaders exhibit certain characteristics or qualities that can be learned or owned uh, through experience and continuous training, uh, such as self-awareness, self-development, ability to develop others, encourage strategic thinking and innovation. Uh, we also learned that uh, leadership doesn't apply only to the individual uh, level. It's a collective effort and uh, can be applied to the group level. We are an example. There is no leader here. We are a group. We communicate with, e with each other and uh, reach to a decision based on everyone's opinion. So yeah, that's basically what we have learned so far. And we hope to continue this learning process. Uh, thanks, Nada. Thank you so much. And okay, so you talked about a few things, uh, how you are working together and there are a lot of things which you have learned maybe all of the members learned. Uh, so uh, you also talked about some leadership thing. So I would like to ask about why is leadership even important? Is there a need for leader, uh, leaders in the moment? Francisc, uh, would you like to answer this? Sure. Uh, well, as I said in my small introduction, uh, this is something that uh, was already discussed during the second iteration of the strategy process, 2019-20. Uh, and uh, well, I, I want to, to remind, um, I mean, it's the, there are some dangers here. You know, the first danger is uh, the word the leader, because uh, you know, through the human history, we've seen many times some, some people claiming to be leaders, but uh, there were people who had no good intentions for, towards others. So uh, let's say that leader is a, is a word in a little bit uh, dangerous, but still uh, there's a need for leadership in our, in our movement. And I believe that, uh, I, I mean, uh, since the very beginning, you know, the, the small community that started almost an ex uh, as an experiment in 2001 uh, to what we have built so far, uh, I, be I believe it's pretty obvious that there is leadership in the Wikimedia communities and that the leadership has been developed inside the Wikimedia communities. So basically we are having, and perhaps I'm getting a little bit away of what is the their opinion of the whole group and I'm, I'm making more of a personal statement. 
uh, we are working more as social scientists in the sense that we are identifying you know, what, what's going on, what has been going on in our movement so far. And that's also addresses some of the questions that have been put in the chat. I mean, we have leadership in the online communities, in the offline communities. We have uh, leadership in, in meta organizers and we have leadership in, in partners. No? I mean, we have uh, um, skills in, in, in our movement and those skills uh, talk to capacity building, talk to, to leadership itself, talk to, to understand how the Wikimedia movement works, uh, uh, talk to resilience, not to make our movement more resilient for the future, etc. So basically, this is, um, I mean, I, I believe that that's why it's important. It's important because basically we are doing a job of understanding uh, things that have always happened in the Wikimedia movement, and that's why I believe this is important. Thanks, Francis, uh, for elaborating the answer. So, uh, if Ray, you could uh, add something because we didn't hear anything from you as of now. So, could you add, please? Perfect. Cool. So, as for whether we need leadership in the movement, uh, I know this. Is, it kind of sounds like a rhetorical question, like, "Oh, of course we need leadership." Uh, However, if you talk about leadership in like the traditional like political or like group focusing uh, definition of the word leadership, the one that is not used specifically in Wikimedia, it often has incredibly negative, incredibly like group against group or cabal-esque results focused on competition rather than an attempt at global cooperation. And from the Wikimedia context, something that I've tried to kind of make sure we reflect on our definitions, because we have discussed leadership, we've also discussed what is good leadership. And then what is good Wikimedia leadership? And then from there, we can kind of work in towards leadership development plan. But one of the thoughts that I've tried to push is that good Wikimedia leaders are facilitators. They're mediators. They are peer mentors. They do not give people a vision. They help people find their own vision. OK, thanks, uh, Ray. And Jan, uh, if uh, you would still like to speak in this specific question. Yeah, sure. Have... Um, okay. I, I think um, Ray made a very important point that um, the traditional understanding of, of leadership is not what we're working on here. One of the main goals of this group is to um, sort of dismantle the misunderstanding that leadership is tied to hierarchy. I think one of the questions in the chat was um, what kind of leaders we're talking about, like uh, SOC masters and, and admins. This is not what this is about. Those are hierarchical um, figures. And Ray made it very clear that leadership um, is rather a question of facilitating and not um, being someone giving commands because they are higher in hierarchy. Right. Um, you'll see this reflected in the definition. This is the I see I see this as the main point of the definition being made. Uh, okay. Another and you want to add something or want to speak something? Yeah. Uh, with regards to the question that if uh, do we need leaders? Well, uh, it's I think we will think of uh, this question as monocracy. It's not. We are talking uh, here about actions. We are talking about uh, groups levels. We are not talking about one person that leads the others. No, that's it's not the uh, uh, levels or who is supposed here. Uh, uh, no, it's just uh, uh, the process of working that we are talking about. Okay, thank you. Great, thank you yeah. for everyone's contribution. Yeah, hello. Um, 
I want yeah. to say now I have written Shepard, I think it's better when I say it directly. I would say now as I hear that maybe then it would be better to name this other use another name instead of leadership. You why not using, for example, the term facilitator or something like that. I think that would be a better term. It would lead to a higher acceptance for what you are doing, because especially in Europe, or that's my experience that there is, uh, there the Wikimedia communities are critical regarding leadership. So there they want a lot of freedom, or I see it in German Wikipedia there. They want freedom and don't want that other people tell them what they have to do. And so I think it would be great if you think about maybe using another term instead of leadership. Thanks for jumping in. Uh, Ray, I just saw your hand raised. Could you answer this question or? Cool. Start? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I definitely understand and to some extent agree with that sentiment. Uh, the word leadership itself has very negative connotations in some areas. But the difficulty is that if we switch to just facilitators or just peer mentors or just mediators or just insert other words here, because we do have a lot of those terms in our definition, we need to find them and we define their attributes too. That wouldn't get the full picture. Uh, like, yes, leadership does have bad connotations in some areas, but that's also why we are defining what good lead Wikimedia leadership is and how good leadership manifests itself with Wikimedia projects. That's why our definition isn't just copied from Google. We're doing stuff to kind of ensure that we are properly informed in our future steps by creating a definition of leadership that goes in some ways directly against the generic definition of leadership. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Ray. Uh, anybody has something to add or we can switch to the next question? Okay, yeah, please go ahead. Yeah, this might be a bit of a side note. I agree with, with um, what my previous, what the predecessors have said. Um, also, there's a large body of, of literature and sociological science being done on this term. So changing the name to, to something else wouldn't only like lose a bit of the scope of the term, but also work against um, sort of the academic, um, well, progress that has been made. So that would be a bit hard to, to reference um, the literature here. Thanks, Jan. Thank you so much. So, okay, we have less time, so let's do it quickly. So I, I will uh, go back to goodness. Uh, goodness, uh, because we are discussing a lot leadership here. So uh, I would like to ask, how did you come, uh, come up with the definition and uh, what process did the group follow for that? All right, thank you, Matish, for this question. And um, um, each step of the drafting was under consent decision-making process. And in agreement, we discussed, brainstormed, during our weekly meetings to identify keywords, qualities, attributes, actions, and mindsets that are important elements of leadership. We asynchronously and synchronously categorize these keywords to prioritize them into subcategories. We also use storytelling to share experiences of how leadership is seen in our diverse communities. We also created a shared definition of um, a, a shared document so that each member of the group can see and contribute to, uh, to definitions and get responses from community members. We also discuss and resolve these issues with um, the definitions and subsequently merge the, the resulting definition into its final form. And um, finally, after the process has been completed, the definition will be published and announced so that it can be op made open for community feedback and output and uh, input. So like uh, my colleague Ray said, that the definition we, we, we would see is not a form of, uh, is not a kind that we see normally. We would 
define this definition so that it would be a, a, a community kind of definition. It would um, uh, ensure that community needs and different culture would be uh, made um, possible or seen in the definition. Thank you. Thanks, goodness. Uh, if no one have and um, no one has anything to add, then I just uh, end up the session. Uh, sorry, question answer part from my side. I just have last one question. So um, I would like to ask uh, from Nada. Uh, it would be great if you will answer this question. How can uh, community members provide feedback on the definition uh, that the working group drafted? and also goodness talked about uh, those things. So would you like to answer this question? Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, well, uh, the working group uh, is still in the process of uh, creating a thorough feedback plan for community members. We are still in the process uh, of creating a draft for uh, our definition and uh, we will share our definition uh, very soon via uh, several movement wide channels of communication. Of course, META is the first one. We are also exploring regional and uh, lingu linguistic community uh, 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 community channels uh, to uh, for outreaching and feedback platforms. We uh, since we are still in the a process of uh, uh, putting a plan for uh, feedback. Uh, there, uh, we might use uh, message, mass messages, uh, social media platforms, uh, talk pages, uh, maybe direct interaction with affiliate uh, members, uh, uh, central notice banner, one-to-one -one meetings. Uh, so we haven't decided yet, but. Uh, we uh, still uh, processing a plan for that. And uh, we want to make sure that uh, this is a very important part because we want to hear from everyone. We want to know if there is a gap in our definition so we can uh, fix it. And fill it. Thank you. Thank you, Nada. I think it's a difficult task to get some feedback and uh, get involved community with uh, us. So best of luck for that. And now uh, we have just six minutes to close the session. So we will uh, take some questions from the audience. And we have a few questions there. So maybe... Uh, a few questions already answered by Ray or Jan. Um, okay, so we have next question from audience. Uh, can you please tell me an action within the Wikimedia projects you define as leading? Um, who would like to take this question? Uh, I can. Sorry, I can repeat the question. Okay. So question was, can you please tell me an action within the Wikimedia projects you define as leading? Okay, Francis, please go ahead. Yeah, here I will go personal and I will share examples that I share. I mean, uh, with uh, the definition of leadership um, by our group is not yet public, but uh, we have been working with that. We have almost a, a final product to be reviewed by the communities. And some of the inputs that I've been sharing while, um, you know, the brainstorming process, etc., were examples in, for instance, uh, the linguistic community I come from, the Catalan Wikipedia. And we have uh, specific users that are very, very, very good in, in the things they do. Perhaps they've never been very active in international scenes. They haven't been very active uh, while sharing their job. They have uh, not been very active in affiliates, but they are people who are, um, 
I, I mean, I don't want to say names, but I believe that a lot of people know what the Catalan info boxes are. And that was made by a single person who had an idea. He developed that idea into our local community. We love the idea. And not only we did love the idea, but yeah, other people around the movement uh, in a totally horizontal way, they saw the idea once it was implemented in our community. They liked the idea. And now the the info boxes that are linked to Wikidata, it's something that is very, very common in our movement. And that was thanks to one single person. And I, I believe that's an example of leadership. I mean, uh, when he developed that, Amador, who is the name of that person, he wasn't, uh, I mean, he was a member of, uh, of the Catalan language affiliate, but he wasn't a member of the board. He wasn't the staff. He wasn't, um, let's say, uh, anything special. But uh, I mean, he was a beloved member in, in our community. And he had an idea, he developed it, and people like it. And uh, just as I have that example, I believe that we can point to other examples of other people who have been doing things and say, hey, that people do, do good things uh, and they improve our communities. And I believe that that's, uh, of course, is, this is not a definition of leadership, but this is an example of the people that we have had in mind while working on this. Thanks, Francisc. We just have three minutes here. And would you like to answer in few words um, for the next question? What makes leadership wider than facilitator? I guess I should also answer that because I was um, put in the chat. I mean, for me, a facilitator is, um, is just one of the aspects that you might have as a as a leader, I mean, going back to the example of the people inside of the community that develop, in this case, it's not exactly to develop a gadget, but it's something similar. Um, I mean, a uh, facilitator is a very uh, specific trait that means to facilitate among, uh, um, among peers, etc. That's a good trait. That's a good trait that should be taken into consideration when talking about um, leadership. But you can lead in many, many other ways. Uh, and specifically i mean i believe that the problem with the world leadership is that we are thinking on a single person like uh, something very top to down a structure a, a very a very pyramidal scheme and this is not the case i mean you might be a sectorial leader in the sense that uh, there are individuals that are leading in very specific things and the leadership works uh, both for uh, you know, let's let's say uh, an all-around leader. No, so there are individuals who, uh, whose involvement in the movement uh, is, is very wide, but it's uh, it should also fit our uh, leadership definition. Fit those who are very good. Those individuals who are very good in specific things. So facilitators. Let's say the facilitators are leaders, mm -hmm. but not all leaders are facilitators. It's I don't know if I able to to give a satisfactory reply, but this is how I see it. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Ray. Thank you so much. We have just one minute and we need to close the session. So uh, thank you everyone for your pa proactive participation and your precious time. Um, we appreciate your time and thanks again to the uh, organizing and program team who gave us this opportunity. If you have still some questions or you need some clarification or you have something to say, please email us on uh, leadership working group at the media.org it will also put in chat box so thank you uh, have a good day and thank you so much for joining us today thank you okay thank you all the panelists and all the audience so thank you take care bye